one of the things we need to be concerned about is properly putting on the harness. So I'm going to demonstrate how to properly put the harness on right now. You need to orient the harness so that the back D-ring is toward you. And with a vest style harness, you can put the harness right over your shoulders. One of the things that we want to make sure of is that we've got the sub-pelvic strap located right underneath our buttocks. That way we've got the harness adjusted correctly. What I see a lot of times are people that have the sub-pelvic strap way down their legs or they have it sitting up above their rear end. You want all that force to go into the strongest part of your body, which is around your rear end. How we would adjust that is by adjusting the adjuster buckles on the shoulders to adjust the length of the harness up and down. Once I have that positioned properly, now I can take and adjust my leg straps. This is an example of a tongue buckle leg strap. The advantage is, is I can adjust it very easily. It will hold its position. I want to make sure I've got the webbing coming back through the keeper so that I can't inadvertently disengage the harness once it's been attached. You don't have to be super tight, but snug. Once I've got the lower part of the harness adjusted properly, now I can move to the chest. The chest strap in this case is going to be using a secure fit buckle that comes across and connects. I can hold the back side of the buckle, adjust it across. And again, the chest strap should be located right across the middle of my chest, not low, not high, but across the middle of my chest. All right? This should orient the harness to where it's comfortable to wear, and it's also safe for me once I go to work using the harness. This is a quick fit chest connector. So to put this together, slide the smaller piece through the larger piece. Secure it, adjust the webbing through. In order to disengage the unit, take the outer piece, rotate it through, and it's disconnected. This is an example of the quick fit leg connector. This is a friction type buckle. We take the small piece, slide it inside of the larger piece, and we can hold it, pull the webbing through to get a secure fit. To disengage, take the outer piece, rotate it through, and it disengages. Some of the MSA harnesses incorporate a waist belt. The waist belt is typically a tongue buckle connection that you want to make sure is snug. These waist belts are designed with hip D-rings. These hip D-rings are only for positioning and not rated for fall arrest. The belt also has gaps in the back so that you can accommodate your tool bags onto the harness so that you don't have to have a separate support system. This is the MSA Arc Safe Harness. This version is a no exposed metal above the waist. It incorporates a loop on the back. This loop accommodates a lanyard that's looped on one end so that I don't have to make a metal connection to the back of the harness. It is rated for uh, arc flash, so it'll provide me that level of protection when I need fall protection as well. Putting this harness on is following the same procedure that we've talked about before regarding a vest style harness. So putting this on over my shoulders, checking the position of the sub-pelvic strap around the buttocks. From this point, I can adjust my leg straps through the tongue buckle connectors that we have, making sure that they're snug and that the loose part of the connection is put back through the keeper. From this point here, I can make my connection across the chest. This incorporates a quick fit connector that's got a cover. So by putting the small piece through the larger piece, I can ensure that that's connected. I can pull the cover over the connection and tighten it down. Also incorporated on this harness are some front attachment points that can be folded out of the way, but in the event of a rescue, these can be used in order to evacuate me in that instance. Once you've completed your work, you're going to need to take off your harness and store it properly. What I suggest you do is first undo the chest strap, and you do that by taking the pins, opposing one another, and pulling the strap apart. From this point, you can move to the leg straps. So what you want to do is simply disengage the tongue buckles. This will drop the leg straps between your legs. At this point, you need to take your left or right hand, tuck it inside, Bring the harness around, 
Now what I suggest you do to keep your harness from being tangled is to take the leg straps, run them back up through the back D-ring. This will allow you to store your harness in a way that it will not become tangled.